Hi, it's another beautiful day in sunny Southern California, Orange County. This is the middle of December. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky, wow. So I'm in the town of Rancho Santa Margarita, and today we're gonna to talk about this tree here. This is a Chinese flame tree, Coruteria bipinata. Of course, he comes from Southern China, also known as a Chinese golden rain tree, or a bougainvillea golden rain tree. He's very popular worldwide as a landscape tree. He's easy to grow. These are little guys here, but they have great shape. They provide us colorful flowers, leaves, and seed pods, right? From summer through, oh, well, all the way up through December here. So this tree here is described as a small to medium sized tree. It's a moderate to fast grower. It gets about 20 to 60 feet tall. It's deciduous, so he drops his leaves every year. These guys started dropping already. And they're a little bit the uh, flat top canopy. And they bloom in late summer. And they give us these seed pods here. Little seed pod there, right? Around uh, November time. They live about 50 to 150 years old. These guys have dropped a lot of leaves, but I'll show you a real full one later on in the video. All right, so there's two other Colurotarias that are also common. One's called the Colurotaria paniculata, or the golden rain tree, also the pride of India, China tree or varnish tree. Another one's called the Colurotaria elegans, which is a flame gold rain tree, it comes from Taiwan. But all these cold rutarias, they look alike. So I'm gonna tell you uh, the best way to tell the differences of these plants. Here's a real good one up here. Looks like he's uh, got some really nice uh, seed pods coming down. Right up here, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So anyway, I'll show you the uh, leaves here. We can tell this is a Colrutaria paniculata. So this is a this whole structure is called a leaf. And here you have these little side leaves coming out, and these little guys here, they're called leaflets. So that's why it's called bipinata, right? One, two is bi. Then you have these little leaflets coming out here. And the leaflets here, they're little uh, longish shaped. They are serrated. They're green on the top, a little lighter on the bottom. Here's a better one here, right here, all right? And they have a central vein going up the center and little uh, offshoot veins going toward the edges. Now the um, elegans, that's nice. So, the elegans, Colotary elegans, has the same sort of structure, like bipinnate, but the leaves are a little bit broader. And at the end, if you follow this uh, stem all the way to the top, you see how it, there's two at the end, but the elegans typically has a terminal leaf at the end of the, uh, where the leaflets are, okay? And that's how you tell these guys apart from the elegans. And the, um, Colutaria paniculata does not have these bipinnate leaves like you see here. They're just single leaves going up the stem. So, back to our uh, tree here. These guys have no flowers because the flowers are already spent, but they bloom from July to August. They're small yellow, little touch of red at the base. They have four petals. They're very showy, very aromatic and they're uh, hermaphroditic, so, um, or hermaphroditic, so that means the males and the females are on the same flower. And the fruit, let's say I find a fruit here that I can reach, perhaps one on the ground here, here we go. So here's the fruit, right here. Here we go, here's another one. Here's a fruit, it's three-lobed, one, two, three, it's paper-like. Sort of looks like a bougainvillea. It's lateral shaped. It's got a faint reddish color. It's very showy. Okay, and you uh, open it up, and you got the seeds inside right here. 
and typically these are green at first but they'll turn a little pinkish in color later on when they're ready. Now don't eat the seeds because they are poisonous. They contain cytosine and that's poisonous to uh, humans and also animals. All right, let's see here. So I can take a look at uh, the bark of this tree. So here we got the bark. It's pretty thin, very scraggly looking. Peels off rather easily. And these guys, uh, they branch upwards, okay? And the higher they get, and they tend to bend downwards. Now it's considered a weak wooded tree. So sometimes the limbs get too heavy for the tree and then they'll break off. So if you have this at home, make sure you prune it appropriately. There's a bunch of uh, seed pods up here. Little lantern shaped, paper like. And uh, a couple fall down here. Here we go, here's a good one. Let's go. See that? They're very paper-like. You open it up, and these guys are still green, but they'll turn a little pinkish. This is Colrutaria bipinata. Take a look at all these guys out here. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Fantastic. So, um, let's take a look at a large one now, all right? So now I'm at our community park in town. I want to show you this guy here. It's a full-grown Colruteria bipinata. It's about 50 feet high. Wow, look how full it is. It's got tons and tons of seed pods kind of raining down on us, like a rain tree. Anyway, notice up here how the roots come out and they don't damage the sidewalk because it's very friendly with that respect. So anyway, if you want to grow this at home, um, the soil doesn't really have to be very good, have to be uh, poor nutrition. You just have to make sure it's well draining soil. So clay or sand is fine, just make sure it's well draining. These are considered to be invasive, so make sure you keep it under control. Don't let it spread too much, all right? They like full sun, not a lot of water. There are very few pests or diseases but watch out for a little, uh, it's called canker disease. It can form on this plant. And if you want to, you propagate it by seeds. Okay, Let's see if I get a seed up here. Uh, little seed. Oh, I'll get a seed here. All right, you can propagate these seeds here. Just like this, what you do is you soak it in water, put it in potting mix, and you plant it in full sun, and in about eight days, it ought to germinate. How about that? Anyway, I think that's all you need to know about our Colruteria bipinata, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye.